Now do not adjust your set. It really is this big. Oh, check this out, people. It's your man, JB, and I'm checking out this Purdy painter's storage box. And I'll tell you what, it has definitely got some serious storage going on here. I mean, check out all that space. I do need a new system for all my painting and decorating bits and pieces. And I think this is going to be it. Extension pole holders, wet brush and roller cover bin, dedicated brush storage bar, featuring two extra large boxes, IPS 65 rated for water and dust resistance and replaceable all-terrain wheels. Right, let's get this off now and get serious. As you can see, there are three boxes here and they are all held together with these pretty impressive clasps. They really do hold these boxes together nice and tight. So we'll just undo this top one, have a quick look at our first box. On all the boxes, we've got these rather heavy duty clips. And also on this one, we've got this rather rugged handle. So if we open this up, pretty standard inside, but what we've got here is a wet roller and brush bin or holder. You can take these dividers out. You can have it just as one long open tray or you can use it to put stuff in. So that's quite nice. But what you'll also find on all of these boxes is it's got this rubber seal all the way around the lid, which obviously seals and protects whatever's inside from dust and water. Next up, we've got one of the larger boxes. Again, all held together with these clasps. Handle on top of this one, same clasps to keep the box shut. And in this one, it's a little bit different. And as you can see, what we've got here are these brush hanging rolls. So you can have multiple brushes and you've got extra hooks here. You can have multiple brushes hanging from these bars. You can take these out, you can have one, you can have two. I'm sure you can purchase more and have multiple rows and hooks of brushes. Or you could actually have two close together here and then you've got this removable divider in the middle here, which means you can put some roller sleeves in here as well. And then your last box acts as a trolley. So you've got your big wheels on here, you've got the handle, you can stack all your boxes on top and you can uh, stow and go. You can collapse the handle. So you can put that all the way down there if you don't want it sticking up, if you want to be using this box. Um, just got this yellow button here, push that, and then you can extend it, as you can see. You've also got here holes for your roller pole. So that's really nice as well. Handle on top, so you can lift the box from here, and also here gives you a nice even weight distribution through both those handles. You try and pick up by one, it does kind of tilt backwards. So when your trolley handle is in the down position and locked, you can actually lift that up with both hands. So that feels really good. And then if we open up this box, we've got nice little tray there. You can put all your bits and pieces. That's really handy. And a rather large, toolbox. So this leaves me with one more thing to do. I've got various pieces of decorating equipment and tools. This isn't everything, but I want to start getting all of my stuff in these boxes. So um, here we go.
So there's all my brushes and mini rollers, all nice and neat and organized. And then I've got all my prepping tools and roller cages and screwdrivers and bits and pieces. And then in this top box, I've just put some smaller brushes, some masking tape, um, some cork, some cling film, some filler. So uh, yeah, I've got a way to go yet. I'm really gonna fill this up, but uh, I think you get the idea. Right, I'm gonna get all this together and get it in the van. 